I've seen a few people online talking about a strange photo. Something called Glowjaw. It's a low-res photo of a darkened room on the right side of which there's this humanoid thing, for lack of a better term. The thing looks like a person wearing a black bodysuit, covering its entire body. There seems to be a mask of some kind donned on the thing's face. It has two massive black holes for eyes, a little bulge for a nose, and a glowing white mouth, hence the name Glowjaw. Now, I've seen people claim that it's an artistic image or a meme. Someone went as far as to say that it's a haunting image of some kind. I can say for certain, though, that whatever this thing is, whatever this image is, it's a photograph. I'm saying this with the utmost certainty because, well, because I've seen that freakish thing staring at me through my webcam. Glowjaw is a real thing. Okay, I don't know if it's some sick guy, one who's getting kicks out of scaring the living crap out of people, or something else. But this thing, this creature, it is very, very real. And when it creeps on you from nowhere, and suddenly stares at you with its gaping maw, I mean, it's unpleasant, to say the least. Two years ago, I came from work one evening. I get to my room, and I hear the sound of a Skype call ringing through my computer speakers. I turn on my screen, and I see that a buddy of mine, Evan, is calling me. Moreover, I see that there are 96 missed calls from him. That was strange, to say the least. I turn off the call and message Evan that he shouldn't have called me 96 times and that I'd call him after I shower. Once my message came through the chat, it showed Evan typing something before stopping. I didn't think much of it and just started changing. Another call. Evan called me again. I turned down the call and messaged him, saying, Dude, chill. Alright, I'll talk to you in a few. Evan was always a little weird, but he wasn't ever nagging or anything. Just kind of awkward and tad morbid, I guess. He wasn't harmful in any way, but he'd always talk about the darkest, brooding, and borderline vile stuff. A text message came from Evan. A simple one-worded text stating okay. The tiredness of work started catching up to me, so I stood there for a moment, staring into the screen completely lost in my own head. As I'm about to head to the shower, I heard the oh-so-familiar ring of a Skype call. A switch flipped in my head, my vision deemed, and I felt the blood rush to it. The son of a bitch was being a pest, and I was going to give him a piece of my mind. I answered the call and I was greeted by the blue-tinted wall of Evan's room. His webcam was always awful. He never bothered getting a new one because he liked it for his own strange reasons. His webcam turned the image dark blue, and the pixels were noticeable. The screaming of a Swedish black metal musician was audible in the background. But, but Evan wasn't in the view. That and the obnoxious music made me even angrier, and I started cursing out at the man. I was so pissed that it took me about three minutes to realize that I was talking to a literal wall on the other end of the call. Once I did realize that I was talking to myself, my anger started dissipating and started to turn to confusion. I called out Evan's name, but no response. I tried calling him a few more times, but no one answered. And in the meantime, the song in the background ended. Once the other end of the call turned dead silent, I saw movement at the far right side of the room. Something very subtle. 
I sat down and called Evan's name again, and still no answer. I was staring at the wall. I was going to shut down the call and block the guy for being a nuisance. But something knocked Evan's webcam down. It landed lens down on the floor. I told him to cut the shit and threatened to stop talking to him if he didn't. I'm sorry. This voice came through the other side of the video call. It wasn't Evan's, though. It was way too high-pitched and raspy to be his voice. This guy was a massive tank of a man, nearly two meters tall. Probably 120 kilos in weight, and he sounded like a caveman would. Evan? I called out again as his webcam shook around for a bit. It turned around, and I nearly fell from my chair. I was so surprised by what I was what I was looking at that I swiped at my own webcam, knocking it to the ground and breaking it. We've made eye contact for about half a second. But I'll never, ever forget that shape. Black bodysuit. A bluish mask. Two massive holes for eyes. And a glowing white mouth. The face of pure evil. I felt it sucking the life out of me. The call ended once my webcam landed and broke in two on the floor. I grabbed my phone and started calling Evan. Being both pissed and confused, what the hell was that? I kept trying about what I had seen all the while trying to call the guy, but he never picked up the phone. I ended up going to his place, but he never opened the door either. Eventually, I called the cops when one of the neighbors told me that nobody had seen him for over a day. It turned out Evan was dead once the cops broke in. The cause of death was determined to be a sudden cardiac arrest. There were no signs of forced entry or, or anything like that. Evan's death was ruled as one of those things that just happen. Moreover, it seems... He's been dead since the morning of that day. His face was cracked open when he fell down, hitting his head on the edge of his desk. His eyes were still wide with terror when we found him. Strangest of all was that his laptop was running with Skype open. I didn't... I didn't really tell anyone about the glow jaw thing because, I mean, who would have believed me? You know, I'd be called insane. I was supposedly having a Skype chat with a man who had been dead for hours and saw a crazy monster staring at me from his webcam. Right? You know, I'm talking about this now. I'm talking about this now because I keep seeing Glowjaw's photo pop up in various places online. And whatever this thing is, I doubt its glowing presence is a good thing.